welcome to the Virtual Green Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. And today's theme is going to be a simple shave. Why have I decided to do that? Well, I don't know. I just fancy using pretty simple products today. Um, nothing fancy, nothing over the top. Hopefully we'll get a, a quick, irritation-free shave. That's kind of what I want all the time, although quick isn't always the thing that happens, as you guys know. I'm going to be using one of my favorite... Um, kind of mass-produced products. And I've had some time to think about this, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is one of my favorites. This is La Doha, made in Barcelona, Spain, or at the very least, it is. It is made in Barcelona, Spain. Um, this is a phenomenal product. Uh, as far as shave sticks go, I'm pretty sure that this is my favorite shave stick. And I think it's probably the best as far as the package it comes in. Um, as you can see, it has these vents at the top here. If you want more information on the company, I did a Timeless Tuesday of this a few months ago, so by all means, go go back and watch that. But the reason I like La Toja, it's a very nice scent. One of the one of the biggest ingredients they have in here is mineral, mineral salt. And you get a bit of that. It's like a really soapy, clean, slightly salty scent, which is really nice. Um, as, as as a whole, I'd say the package is phenomenal, like the actual thing you're getting or the package is phenomenal for traveling. It has these cool air vents. It stays inside the, 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 the base there, unlike quite a lot of other shave sticks I've tried. That's going to be our, our soap of the day, and we're going to be rubbing that directly on the face. Our brush is another pretty simple product, fairly affordable. This is the Trafalgar T3 by Simpson. Uh, Simpson out of Isle of Man, which is located just below the main main island of, of the UK. Um, this is a really easy brush to use. It's a synth. It has a decent amount of backbone, nothing too extreme, but also a very good, well-rounded brush. And the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84, another affordable product. Nothing, that, nothing here that breaks the bank per se. I, I call this like a very mid-level shave in the sense that this is something everyone, I think, would be willing to pay pay for. It's nothing too extreme and nothing too over the top, like, like it normally is. But let's get the glasses off. Let's get the face wet, and uh, we'll start rubbing La Toja on our face. There is a beautiful simplicity in uh, these really, these like test tried and true products. And to be honest, I, I enjoy shaving with them all. Like I have absolutely no problem shaving with them. They're effective. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. So there we go, a decent coverage on the cheek then. We'll do the same on the neck. Go against the grain on the neck. Let's get leather everywhere here. wet the end a tiny bit. This is how you use these. Um, and you can actually lather directly on top of them as well. That's also another option. But I like to, to spread them on the skin like this. It works very well. Cool, that'll do. And now all I do here, because of the aerated top, the holes in the top, just put it back on whack it back in your travel kit and it's good to go. Hopefully that's enough. If not, we can go back to it. I have no problem doing that. It's very easy to lather. Wet the brush through. Shake it a few times because you don't want it to be too wet. Otherwise, lather's going to be flying absolutely everywhere. And then get to lathering up. See how it just erupts? Work. Work in the lather on the face. So there is a really big role these products have to play. Where are most of us in the US have access to a lot of artisanal products, not everyone does. So if you wanna get into traditional wet shaving, these are typically the products people around the world are gonna be using. So I, I think, to be honest, these products are actually more important than the artisanal products because 
these are what most people are going to be using. And that's that doesn't go for just people around the world either. Like most people aren't going to try artisan soaps. They're going to search on Amazon for a shaving product or a shaving soap, you know, and then they come across this and they say, that sounds good. They're going to pick it up and then that's what they're going to stick with because it works, you know. You can see how fast that lathered up. Like it lathered up in no time. That's what I like about this stuff. It's just so easy to use. There's not really much of a learning curve. And I think that's a big, still a big way artisan soaps need to come. There's plenty of, a, there's a big learning curve of using them properly. With these, it's just a case of getting it on the face and just swirling brush over a bit and you get a pretty damn usable lather quite quickly. And as I said, I think that's how the artisan stuff can improve. Ease of lather. But then again, I think you do get a bit, an uptake in performance with the artisanal stuff. So it's there, there are trade-offs there for sure. But I wouldn't say when using something like the Toha or Mitchell's Wolfat or something, I don't notice a significant downgrade in performance at all. The only thing I notice in terms of performance downgrade is the post, but as long as you have a decent bomb nearby, you'll be fine. I mean, that's a nice lather to me, you know? And it, it was made really, really quick. So we're gonna paint a tiny bit more water in and then we'll just get to shaving. I, I, I love La To be honest, I love quite a lot of the uh, old products. Or well, at least the more kind of mass market products. I think they're all pretty good. Like, you can't grumble at that, can you? It's a good lather. Really high quality lather as well. Just take a bit more water in and we're good to go. Cool. Lightning fast. Surf up the nose. Get rid of that. This is this is typically the setup I take traveling, a synthetic brush, a razor that isn't too expensive. So in case I lose it, it's not much of a big deal. Let's go with the grain here. And something like a shaving stick or a shaving cream. Why do I take these? And why do I take a, prefer a shaving stick or a shaving cream when I travel? It's about um, ease of use, really in the sense that I find with a shaving soap when you're traveling you're kind of limited to when you can shave. For example, let's say you want to shave the morning before you, the morning of you leave, of your leaving, so you want to shave an hour before you leave, for example. Unless you're lathering from a bowl, which I don't like to do, that soap needs to dry. If you're bringing a tub of soap, you know, you need to leave out to dry for a little bit after you lather. At the very least, you should be. And if you have to go in an hour, you can't do that. That's where creams come in for me. That's where the shaving sticks come in because they can dry kind of on the go. And frankly, these things, these, these products are so affordable just buying a shave stick for the trip, and if it's not in, in perfect condition on the way back, just just, chuck, just toss it and buy another one. Or grate it into a tin or something, you know? It's the sort of thing really where it's it's really good for its purpose, and I, I am definitely that sort of guy. Like, I want a product that kind of covers all scenarios. It's, it's just the way my brain works. And if I can get that, see this, this soap is very good guys. Like I have no problem with the performance. Anyone picking this up instead of using a shaving cream or like canned goo or shaving foam, this is going to be worlds apart for them because this product is so much better than, than the even more mass market crap, you know? Very nice. I love the smell too. Beautiful. 
Yeah, I think this is perfect for traveling. It's small in terms of form factor, doesn't take up too much room. It can dry on the go. And it's easy to use. That's why I don't take uh, animal hair brushes with me traveling. It's not particularly suited to drying on the go, so you need to let that dry a little bit. With the synth, you can just... It's pretty much completely dry once you run it on the towel after you shave. Running it on the towel also won't damage the bristles. It's just a, a more versatile product. And this razor is of, of a similar quality to much more expensive razors for a very affordable price, which also, for me, lends itself to traveling. You know? Let's do a bit of a cleanup, and then uh, the shave has been fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I should use these products more often. Like, they give me quite a lot of joy. Would I say they're as good as artisanal products? I mean, probably not, but I mean, ultimately, definitely good enough to get in a good shave, like a high quality shave. And that's really what I care about. Residual slickness is really good too. Really good. Cool, and that's the shave, guys. <laughs> Absolutely no nonsense. Let's get uh, the loose lather on the face, just because I like to do that little face wash thing. Let me get it on the face, clean up the gear, and I'll see you for the pub. See you in a sec. Welcome back, guys. It's uh, post time. So I, I like the shave quality is phenomenal. The post is a bit drying, like a little bit, but with a decent post shave product, that's really not an issue. So what I like to do is I get a small bottle. In fact, I can show you. This is the dot kit I, can, I, I take. It was one of the ones that uh, I got from Carve. This is all I take traveling with me. This is a small little uh, Zingari Man Sego tester. Just get a small bottle like this, fill it with some balm or your favorite aftershave, whatever you like to use, and just chuck it in here, you know? That's, that's what I like to use when I travel. It works really well for me. What I'm gonna use today though, is I'm just gonna use the normal Singari Man aftershave balm. Uh, I, like I said, put that in a small travel bottle and it's perfect for this, this purpose. Very nice. Fantastic shave. Okay, let me talk you through the products and as always, I'll let you guys go. My shave soap of choice today was a shave stick, in fact, and that was La Toja, made in Barcelona. I love this product. This is one of my favorite mass produced products. And uh, I get as much joy out of using this as I do anything from Artisans. I, I, I really enjoy it and I always have. There's something special about using products of old for me. Um, and there always has been. The brush of choice was the Simpson Trafalgar T3. Very affordable, um, a great budget option, and a very high quality shaving brush. You know, if you want a, if you want a good, affordable, all-round synthetic brush, I think this should be near top of your list. It's uh, re really, really nice. And my razor of choice, again, a very good budget option, for me anyway. I think this is probably some of the best bang for your buck in traditional wet shaving. And this is the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84. I mean, inside that I had a probably last use Gillette Nasset. The blade did fine, but I think uh, I, I throw away after the shave. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, 
please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you're on the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.